Sorry guys, today I'm with Ryan Brockoff of the Dallas Mavericks, the starting small forward, the Australian phenom. So thank you guys, thank you for joining me today. Absolutely mate, thank you. Career start today, absolute ripper of a game. Just got a few questions for you. Yep. So, on your way to the NBA, what was the biggest challenge you faced? Just a competition. Um, you know, it's such a, for me personally, it was a long journey. Um, you know, growing up in Frankston and um, lucky enough to went to the Australian Institute of Sport and, and things like that for college and then five years overseas. It's just uh, staying positive and, and believing that, you know, I could play at this level and and, and sort of working, you know, day in, day out to, to make that possible. Because you really did take that hard, hard route. It wasn't just that th one year, one and done. Eh? I wish. It would be yeah. a lot easier. <laughs> exactly. So then for your first career start, how did you prepare different mentally? Um, I don't know. I, I was trying to sort of, I guess, wrap my head around it for, for most of the day and, and quite a bit of nervous energy. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you yeah, haven't been sort of nervous for a game in a while, so right. so just kind of dealing dealing with that and just you know going through mentally, you know what I got to do and and how we're going to play and, and what looks I might get and, and just sort of trying to visualize uh, myself out there to, to kind of put my mind at ease and, and, and feel comfortable out there. Right. So is there a favorite song that you know relaxed you for that? No, <laughs> songs usually like pump me up, so yeah. I stayed away from music today yeah, and, and just yeah. sort of uh, collected my thoughts. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. So, who was your basketball idol growing up then? Uh, probably Andrew Gaze, to oh, be yeah. honest. Um, we didn't really have Fox Star or anything growing up. Um, when, I, when we did, for some reason, Dallas was always on. Um, right, that's, so that's actually, convenient. I actually yeah. grew up uh, a big fan of Dirks and, and, and D Wade, and, and I think it was 05. Oh, yeah. that, was, that, was, yeah, yeah. that was pretty, pretty uh, good to watch, but. Um, I'd say Andrew Gaze and, and, and Shane Heal and, and those Australian guys who really yeah. paved the way for the rest of us. Yeah. So grassroots. Oh, right. I like that's that. Right. I like that. Not like those head in the clouds kind of players. <laughs> that's good as. So then, for people trying to make to that elite level like, like yourself, what's your biggest advice for them? Work hard. Just work harder than everyone else. Um, you know, there's, there's, everyone has talent in, in whatever they do, whether it's basketball or, or, or whatever your passion is. Um, but everyone else has talent in it too. You have to set yourself apart by, by working harder than everyone else and doing it day in, day out. Yeah. You know, anything's kind of possible with hard work. Yeah. So this question's a bit, I had this written from a couple of days ago. Okay. So it's got a bit older, but how do you manage mentally when you're averaging such good stats in limited minutes? You know, with the coaches, you know, you're not getting all your time. Like, you're per 36 minute stats, which I know is a bit of a fan stat. We're insane, like, averaging 38 <laughs> points or something ridiculous. But even in your, like, six minutes, I think it was averaging, you were averaging, like, six, eight points or something. Which was still pretty good. So, like, how do you, you know, not let that get you down? Uh, those numbers can be a little misleading. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to drop 38 a night or whatever it was, but um, just, just trusting sort of the process of it all. And, mm. Um, we have such a deep team and, and talented team. You know, there's only so many minutes in a basketball game, and um, coach has the you know, both you know the good and bad of trying to you know yeah. work everyone in. So just staying positive, working sort of on the outside. That when I do get opportunities, that I'm able to come in and, and have an impact and some shots and, and kind of make things happen. And hopefully that then leads to, to more opportunities. Yeah, definitely. You certainly did that tonight. Thank you. Thanks very much for that interview. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.